Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Team All In for Canada. And we have a special guest, uh, uh, Niole, who's joining us um, this evening. She lives in Mississauga. Um, and this, and she's her sponsor is from, did I say, is it Lithuania? Um, yes, Lithuania. Okay, so anyways, I just want to say thank you. So she will be joining us at our May retreat as well. So we'll be meeting her in person. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, you know, we are going to have Ashley take this over. But one thing we brought the Wisdom Builder retreat when we were there, um, they put out a challenge to the Wisdom Builder team to keep track of how many people you share your story with and to check in and to post it at the end of the week keep track of how many people you share your story story with and post it in their group. But I'd like you guys to do that and post it in our uh, business builder um, uh, group. And we've had a little bit of fun with this because Shelly, we were kind of driving together side by side and, and she was writing and practicing and writing. And anyways, um, she's going to share her journey and how she got to her story. But I just want to say that it works because today I shared my story with somebody when I went to go pick up pizza for my sister's family. And I was on a mission to share my story with somebody today. So I walked into the pizza place and it just so happened to be a pizza place that I used to bring my kids to when they were little. Johnny's Pizza, which is like a more of a family run. It's not your, you know, chain pizza place. And I walked in and there was a lady working behind the counter and I went, oh, it feels so good to be in here. I said, Oh, brings so many memories. I used to bring my kids in here. It's their favorite place. And all the local kids say like, they want pizza. They go to Johnny's Pizza. She goes, I know, isn't that right? She goes, I've been working here a year. And man, it, everybody loves coming to this place. And I said, oh, cool. I said, so you've been looking, working here a year. Where did you work before? She goes, well, I actually live in the Dominican. I have a house there. Um, and I'm, I'm in the process of adopting my, um, my husband's um, daughter. And uh, so I live here part way, but I also live there. And I said, oh, that's really cool. I said, and you're doing this? She goes, yeah. She goes, just until we kind of get organized and get things settled. I said, you must love working here. She goes, you know what? She goes, Johnny's Pizza, it's a family run business. They've been here for like 50 years. She goes, and they're awesome. I said, I know. I said, I've heard a lot of great things. I said, that's awesome. I said, I said, I have to ask you. I said, are you open to looking for another opportunity where you can earn a little extra money like as a side gig? And she goes, actually, she goes, I've been wanting to do something else because I know I'm going to be moving back to the Dominican eventually or doing half and half. And I just, I want to do something else. I said, oh my gosh, that's okay. I said, I have to share this with you. Are you okay if I share this with you? She goes, yeah, what, what? I said, well, you know, 35 years ago, I was a police officer. I was stressed. I was tired. I was working long hours and shifts and I really wasn't happy with my job, but I was just doing it because I had nothing else to do. I didn't know what else I wanted to do, but somebody shared these amazing products from this health company for health. And I was really curious because I was unwell. My mom was unwell. We started using the products and boy, the products turned my health around. I shared my story with family, friends, and I saw this as like a little opportunity to make a little extra money. And it grew to where I was able to, to leave my police career. And now I'm looking for people to lock arms with that are looking for an opportunity where you know they can earn a little extra money or build something like myself where it does grow to a full-time income. Is this something that might interest you? She goes, oh my gosh. She goes, is this like Melaleuca? I said, well, you know what? It's kind of structured like Melaleuca, I said, but we don't have to buy things every single month that we can't get through. She goes, oh, I know. Anyways, long story short, we connected. I gave her samples. She was excited. She messaged me. We um, tagged her in the, in, the, in the Healthy Living Community. She said she's coming on tonight and just by sharing my two minute story. So Shelly, we are going to unmute you because we practiced in the car while we're coming home from Alabama and Shelly, maybe share a little bit about how we came to the perfect two minute story because the first 50 takes literally. <laughs> so come on board, Shelly. Thanks, Nada. Yeah. You know what? It's kind of interesting when you're in this group with like five people and and I would write something down. And because I'm a teacher, I do it, you know, grammatically correct. And it's got to sound OK and write it as a paragraph and all the rest of it. And I would read it and I'd go and, and they would go, you know, change this or try this. And then I I'd do it again and, and then I'd read it. And and it sounded OK, but it was missing. It was missing the passion. It was missing the heart that that needs to come out when you're sharing something that you just love doing 
And so after we did, I don't know, 10 times through or whatever, I said, you know what, I need to put it away and I'm just going to sleep on it. And so the next day I got up and I read it again and then I, I wrote it down again and I went, okay, now, now we've got it. So I'm going to say I'm still working on getting the flow of it and, and getting, um, yeah, because I'm going to be reading it a bit here. But anyways, here we go. So so I'm meeting Nada at uh, wherever it is, and, and she's sharing about, oh, my gosh, I just, I just need, I'm looking for something else. Or, you know, when, when you ask, you must really love your job. And they go, well, you know what, not really. And you say, you know, would, can I share something with you? And they say, yes. So this is what I would be sharing. So I'm a retired teacher, and I was married for almost 39 years. And my comfy life suddenly changed. And I now have challenges, including financial ones. I don't know if you can relate to some financial struggles or not, but let me tell you a little bit more. So 15 years ago, I had health challenges, found a solution, and I've been sharing about it ever since because I'm still pain-free. It became my side gig, and the extra money has paid for yearly getaways and sponsoring several service dog puppies. The community that I've connected with has brought me amazing friendships and love and hope. And the sharing has given me a passion for helping others. I'm sharing this with you because you mentioned that you were looking for something else. It's okay if what I do isn't a fit for you, but would you be open to taking a look or letting me pick your brain for anyone that you know who might be in a position like me who needs a little bit of extra money? I'd love to link arms with them if they find that, or if you find that this is the right fit. Yay. <laughs> so that's that great? As I start to learn it and put it into practice. So yes, everybody write your stories and share it. And then we're going to, as the challenge, Nada, right? Every time you share, share your story at the end of the day, put it in our group. Right. And, and just a reminder, reach out to your upline sponsor and work with them because when Shelly did it originally there wasn't a lot of heart and there has to be that pain point where you share your pain and then how it got to the solution okay so really quickly just share who you are you know a little bit about yourself but then where you were before in your life right how were you feeling what like what was your financial situation like if if you if that was a part or or maybe you, you weren't sure about your future and then, you know, how you see yourself now with Neolife and in your future. So definitely work with your upline, get that two minute story down pat and, and make it a mission to get out there and try to find converse. And it might not get there, but remember conversations, daily conversations with people, just connecting with people, talking with people when you're out and about. And if it leads to your two minute story, I want you to track it. And I want you to keep track of how many times you share your story this week. And then next Tuesday, um, before the our, our team call, I want you to give me your final number in that messenger group so we can see how many people you've actually shared your two-minute story with. Fair enough? Awesome. Okay. Ashley, welcome aboard. I know you're out for dinner. So, um, you know, even if you give us 20 minutes, I know you probably got to get back and then we can get back to even practicing our story if you can't... Uh, be with us the entire time but you're probably starving <laughs> but it's so funny that you say that normally I would not be uh it was absolutely starving so I had to put some food into my mouth while you guys were talking <laughs> hello everyone I'm so glad to get to be with you this evening okay and then for those of you that don't know I block off I block off 7 p.m on the second Tuesday every month and I have nothing planned but last week Everything was a little bit kabobbled, so we decided to push it forward a week. And then when I went to put it on my calendar, I saw that we were going out to dinner with uh, with Daniel's coworkers. So I'm so sorry that I'm, you know, outside of a, a restaurant right now. But thank you so much. I'm so glad that we have brand new. Okay, so can you? Oh, is it? Can you please tell me how to say your name? Is it no Nihole? Niola, Niole, 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 Niole. Okay. So the, the, the the J is like a yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do my very best. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I we've connected on uh, we've connected via email, and when she said where she lived, I was like, you are so lucky. Like you've got the greatest community. It's already built in. 
and everyone there is so wonderful. You are going to love it. And I'm super excited that I'm going to be there uh, really soon. So I did want to bring that up. Uh, that was the one thing that I wanted to chat with you all about tonight and let you think about and then get back to me. I had a meeting with Kendra yesterday and she was like, okay, what's the plan when you go up for Canada? And I was like, well, I was like, I really wanted to do like three-way uh, meetings, right? Like I wanted to meet with people and like help you guys grow your business. And I said, but they really want to do one-on-ones. Kendra is, she really wants me to give you a couple of options and let you guys consider it. So just consider it. At the end of the day, I'm going to do whatever you guys want me to do. But one, she said, what if we, well, uh, the the other thing that kind of factors in is I'm going to be there on a Friday and then a Saturday. So there's lots of people that work, right? And that wasn't something that I think she sort of took into consideration, right? She's probably thinking that everybody's off. Um, so I understand that meeting one-on-one is totally fine. I do want to say that if during your space, if you want to bring someone with you, if during your space, you want to do a three-way call, if during your space, you want to do a Zoom and invite somebody else in that can't come with you, use me any way you can. Because what Kendra wanted us to do, like her vision for it was to meet in the morning all together and to do a meeting to where we really dive in and we find out what your vision is, what your goal is, and then your strategy so that you've got a plan leaving that meeting. And then her ideal was we part for the middle part of the day and you literally go out and talk to people to invite them the next day. And then we meet up that night for the for like the fireside chat. So we're back together and we can chat. Now I know because I have been up there and I I understand that people work during the day on Friday. So it's probably not going to work out, but I will just say from knowing like sort of like what we have planned and what Kendra is asking us to do, let's try to utilize that time in a way that is more productive than us just hanging out. Because we can do a one-on-one via Zoom anytime you want. So ideally, she wanted us to do our one-on-ones before, meet together, do the planning session, go out into the community, like talk to people, invite them the next day, and then meet up that night. Since I don't think that is going to work, but if it does, go for it. Let me know. I don't think that might work. Um, What I would love for you to come with that day, if we have a one-on-one that day, is think in advance of really what it is that you want out of Neo Life. Think about the vision that you want. Think about what a real goal would be. And a goal for me, um, it doesn't have to be, I want to be director by this day. It can be. I totally understand that. But sometimes we've got to build a foundation and we've got to start with the building blocks to get there. It could absolutely be, I want to have, Three, I want to have two conversations a day. I want to have three conversations a day. And at the end of the week, I want to be able to put, you know, three people into the success system. I want to be able to, you know, link them up on a three-way call, put them on, you know, the Canadian that somebody is um, inebriated and driving by on a bicycle and singing. So if you hear that, I think that's what's happening. Um, uh, I should show you where I, so I'm right there is William and Mary College. So there's no telling. There could be any amount of college students walking by with any level of drunkenness. So just just so you know, <laughs> they're really good students for the most part, but you just never know. Okay, so let's come with your vision. Let's come with your goals. And then the the third element that I think bring with you is how much time And the pockets of time. So maybe bring your calendar with you so that we can look at the pockets of time that you can actually devote to it. Because you don't have to spend, you know, eight hours a day, five days a week doing this. But we do have to dedicate some time. We do have to block it off. Because what we want to do leaving is we want to be able to meet up, you know, the next week or two weeks later and say, all right, how are you doing? Like, did we go too high? Or or is our action too low? Like, I really want to make sure that these strategy sessions, even if it's just one-on-one, that the strategy sessions are really valuable and they move forward. Feel free, again, to turn your one-on-one into, you know, a Zoom where we invite somebody in, or maybe you've got team members that are out of town that you want to give them extra time. 
we can pull up a Zoom right there in the house and meet with them. So I just want to, I want to honor what Kendra, you know, wanted us to do, but with, at the same time, uh, I, un I understand the limitations. Like we're all really tight. We all hang out all the time. So I understand that there are limitations, especially on a Friday when I'm coming in and people working. So use, you know, your time that day and our one-on-one -on -one slot in, to the best of your ability, whatever it is that you want to do that you think you're going to get the most out of it. But what I didn't want to do is waste any amount of that time um, in uh, doing anything that doesn't help you grow your business. You know, if we want to catch up beforehand, if we want to have a pre-meeting before I get up there, we've got a month or well, probably three weeks now. So we've got a few weeks that we can meet up between now and then. So I hope that helps. I hope that will give you sort of a focus coming into those one-on-ones because I just want this time to be so valuable for you. I want you guys to leave with a plan. I want you to leave with strategy. And I honestly, between now and then, if you guys want to meet up and talk about like the invitations that you're giving for the Saturday event, we want to fill that event up with as many new people as possible, with as many prospects. And if you're not getting, you know, yeses from any new people, let's look at the invitations. You know, let's look at what we're saying. Um, the fact that Nada and, Sher um, and Shelly just told you like, you know, really, really dial in your story. That's something that was trained on at every event that I ever went to at the previous company that I built with. And you think that I'm exaggerating when I say that. Every single event that I ever went to, they went over the steps of the success system. They went over your story so that you could have an effective one-on-one. -on -one. They went over a, a two-way meeting, right? Like a two-on-one. -on -one. They went over what a three-way meeting looks like, a three-way call. They went over what a large group event looks like. And they went over inviting to get people to the large group event. So if you feel like you've got a question mark in any of those areas from your story to a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, to a two-on-one, -on -one, to a three-way meeting call, you know, text message through to inviting and getting people to the large events. If you feel like you've got a gap anywhere, let's chat through it because it's important to utilize that success system in order to have as many new people in the room for that Saturday as possible. And it's not to hear, I want everybody to do this, is not to get them in the room to hear anything that I'm going to say. It is absolutely getting them in the room so that they can meet each one of you and so they can be there in person and so they can feel what this community feels like. There is nothing that I will say that day that will be magical at all. But there is something magic about getting in the room, you know, being right next to someone and letting them feel what this is all about. So I hope that helps. I, I think it will help. I think that Kendra's wisdom on that and direction is spot on. Even if we can't do it exactly like she wanted it to, I think we can flex um, so that her vision comes to life. And it's really more powerful than just, you know, us hanging out. So yeah. any questions? So let me picture this then, uh, Ashley. I'm wondering if yeah. maybe this might work. So all of the people that have booked that one-on-one -on -one time for like 30 or 40 minutes mm -hmm. on the Friday, are you thinking that maybe they should schedule that before the event with you over Zoom personally? Sure. And then, and then when Friday comes, um, we gather on the Friday and do like a, a a session with all of us and maybe have more conversation with you and then go out in the afternoon, like you said, and connect with people in the community or, you know, we can go to a mall and just have that bit of a practicing our stories out in public, public as we're connecting and talking with people, inviting them to the Saturday session. Is that what, what you're visualizing? Well, and that, that's what Kendra said she thought would be the, the best utilization of the time together is to really get some one-on-ones done before so that we're ready. Some training that morning to where we really get together. We dial in the vision. We dial in a strategy. You know what to do. And then that afternoon, if you've got people that you can talk to, if you've got people on your list that you bring with you, we can reach out even there together all as a team. We can reach out to people. We can tweak messages. We can dial messages in together because we're all right there you know, gather around a table together. If you've got places that you can go and talk to people, if you want to get out and just get around people, you could do that in the afternoon. Um, so I want you guys to discuss it together and just figure out what it is, how best you can utilize the time 
um, I'm going to do whatever you tell me to do. And that is exactly what I told Kendra. I was like, it is their business. And if they don't want me in their business, I'm not going to be in it. But I'll do whatever it is that you guys want. But I do like the idea of um, of strategy sessions. And if we can't do it before, we can do it one-on-one -on -one there during the day, during the time slots that we already have. Mm -hmm. And then when it's not your time, then you're specifically reaching out. You're utilizing that time to try to get some last minute invitations for the next day. And since we're all there together, we can better each other's verbiage. We can better each other's invitations. So do with that what you will and let me know I'm going to be there. So I'm just going to do what y'all tell me to do. But I would okay. love to make sure that it's valuable for you. And most of the people that are coming sporadically through the day, um, they're going to be staying for the fireside chat after. So then okay. we can definitely do some inviting and calling and texting or like, you know, doing the messaging at that point as well, if it, if more okay. is needed for the, for the Saturday. So, That's okay. Perfect. So we'll definitely have And then a, don't let, and because we are going to do it that day, but do not make your list and then delay inviting between now and then. That would be, right. a, that is definitely not what I'm saying, everyone. Right. Be right. inviting between now and then. It's just on that last day, we're going to send out some last minute ones. We're going to do mm -hmm. reminders of people that said maybe, all of those things. But definitely be making your list and working it in the meantime. So I did need to say that just to make sure <laughs> that I did not uh, have everybody wait until the last minute. So, you, so, so are, um, if they're, when the guests arrive on the Saturday, so we're going to definitely make it more of a guest event for a certain part of it and then do a business training or like, is that how you were, you were looking yeah, at this? We, okay. we can do, or, or this, um, we can do guests at the beginning and then mm -hmm. we can have a break so that if they, if they'd like to leave or if they need to leave, they can, we can do a training after that. We can do it the other way around. Um, we could, we could do just business if that's what you want, but I do think you're going to miss out on maybe some product users that wanted to come in and, and mm -hmm. sort of hear a live discover more, right. Where they get to hear who we are, what we do, why we do it live stories in the room. Um, mm -hmm. And then I do think like after that, there is a time for like dedicated, you know, a business training for anybody that's in the room. They were like, Hey, if you're not opposed to making an extra stream of income, we're just going to do a quick start training. And we're going to show you like what you need to do leaving here in order to start building this um, and, you know, bringing in an extra stream of income. So again, I will do whatever you guys want me to do. But I think that I think between Kendra's guidance and the wisdom that she's given us and sort of like what she's looking for there, I think we can work within the time frame that we have and our parameters to really dial in maybe not exactly what she, you know, she had told us because she didn't know the ins and outs of the meeting, but the spirit of what, you know, she was talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any questions, anybody? I'll shut up. And you can unmute you guys and just uh, raise your hand. And I I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, dear Ashley, when are you coming to Mississauga? What days? I don't know. It's May 10 and 11. So the Friday. Oh. Okay. Friday all day during the day and then in the evening and then Saturday from nine to two. I am willing to take day off to meet Ashley, you know, if she <laughs> <There> you <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And I'll Thank send you. you, I'll send you all the information. You'll be in the email Thank list you. now. So. Thank yeah. you. Anybody else? I just had a question about if we're inviting people to the event, um, how, how are we explaining the event to them? What can we, what are some pointers for that? So as soon as you got, like, as soon as we dial it in, Rachel, that's a great question. Okay. Let's okay. dial in exactly what we're going to do. And then as soon as we do that, I'll jot down or I will voice message over just some, some, you know, maybe, you know, tips, maybe just some verbiage for y'all to use. You can totally tweak it and make it your own, but let's dial in how we're going to do it, whether it's going to be totally business, which it totally can, whether it's going to be this portion and this portion. Once we have our layout, we know exactly what we're going to do. We'll be able to dial in that verbiage easily. So once we know that, I will send it over and then you guys can just, you know, tweak it to your heart's desire. But that's a great question because it does matter what you say. Okay. And I'm thinking that having that balance of product and business, the way we do the Discover More, how do you guys feel about that, that layout? If you're going to be inviting people 
having a balance. I like that idea. Yeah, I, I like that idea. I think, you know, to be able to gather more guests, I think we need to have that product piece for sure. And and just thinking of Elaine, um, she's got people from the condo that she can invite for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about um, just to encourage people who are just members. I mean, we're inviting new people, but trying to also invite members who've been around for a while so that mm -hmm. we can encourage them to become promoters. Mm -hmm. So if we can, well, I'm sure we will discuss that piece, mm -hmm. you know, for the opportunity, right? Because a lot of people, they're just busy doing their work, they're members and they just order their products or whatever, right? But, you know, just if we invite them out to to encourage mm -hmm. them to come out to hear it, right? Because you never know, they may just well enough sign up too, right? Oh, yeah. So members and guests are kind of in that same category because your members are, they're still, they're using the products, but you're right. You, we want to paint a picture yeah. for the business opportunity for, for the members that come. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I think, uh, Nada, this will be great too, if I can get that um, uh, Gabrielle out for the, um, uh, that I just met the hockey player, the hockey player entrepreneur. 19 oh, yeah. Be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely that blend anybody else you have to unmute yourself joan yeah i think i would i would like to focus i think it's it's and even in terms that i was planning on changing my my I, my story as well right i think um business focus and we have, we're still marrying the two but getting them thinking business and saying the product is the foundation of this business mm -hmm. as opposed to in the past, I think we give them a lot of science, a lot of everything, and the heads are full of that stuff. And then we throw in business, right? So if it's a business, well, unless, well, depends on who you, how you're inviting and who we're inviting, right? Mm -hmm. And as I was, I was saying to you, I think we need to change. I'm going to change the focus. I mean, the, the order of, of my, my story, mm -hmm. you know, as a business story, but still putting in the products, but putting, mm -hmm. um, put, putting a business part first. And I'm, I'm just going to share that with you when I do it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to work, work with you on your story, Joan. That would be great. And then I have a question. So in May, we usually meet on the second Tuesday. Oh, man, guys, I don't even know what day it is. We usually meet on the second Tuesday of every month. Would mm -hmm. it be beneficial if we moved it back one week mm -hmm. so that we're meeting the Tuesday before I get there? Yes, instead of a... yeah so let's do that that way it's not the tuesday yeah. after it really doesn't do yeah. anybody any good where we're like hey we did a really great job um we yeah. can jump in before and maybe answer some questions that oh hold on my my husband uh -oh. just spit and it blew back <laughs> in my face no, <laughs> oh my word i mean i they caught it on camera honey all of canada knows it he's in trouble uh, he's in trouble <laughs> At least not a stranger spit, Ashley. <laughs> no, you're right. It was mist. It wasn't it, like it, no, it was it was just the mist, but still it was enough because I was like, what just hit in my face? Okay, sorry guys. I apologize. Uh, and those Ashley, of, I wish so you I know we're, we're we're recording, right? So yeah, this is gonna of course, go of course. Out. All of Canada knows. Everybody saw it. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. Let's move it back one week. So then we'll okay. meet on the seventh. That way we could prep a little bit more for it and Perfect. You know, if you've got anybody that you're like, oh, I really want to get this person there, we can maybe talk through some verbiage. And then if anyone would like to make their time slot that you have on Friday, if you want to do, if you want to meet and do a one-on-one -on -one before and we talk vision and we talk that um, and then do something differently with your time, uh, just use my Calendly link. It's mm -hmm. uh, calendly.com forward slash Ashley Peebles. Um, I can, I'll send it to you um, or I'll make sure that you all have it so we can book that beforehand um, yes. or we can use it that day and we can start with vision. Like if you need, you know, extra time and it needs to be one-on-one, -on -one, it's your time. We can do whatever, whatever you want with it. I would encourage every single one of you to book that time with Ashley before because that 40 minute window goes by so fast. This way, Ashley, you'll have yes. notes ahead of time when you do meet with 
with these guys individually. Um, and, and like I said, some, some people are teaming up. There might be two or three at the same time, but I really, really, really would encourage you to have that session ahead of time so that yeah, when you do it. get together on the Friday, um, yeah, I highly recommend that because that was a big complaint last time is we, they wanted more of you, Ashley. <laughs> oh, Hey, that is, that's the sweetest thing. I would not. So I appreciate that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. No, I love it. And I do, I want to spend time with you all. And my, mm -hmm. we're, we were adjusting the, the timing on Saturday because my flight was, um, mm -hmm. like four or whatever it is that day. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm glad we're adjusting it a little bit because I didn't want to leave and not be able to, you know, hug everyone goodbye. And like, you know, mm -hmm. anybody that hangs out after the meeting that hasn't, you know, has questions. Um, I just want to make sure that I wasn't, wasn't running out. So thank y'all so much for working with that flight for me to get back, but I'm super excited. I can't wait to get there. I really do think that just a few tweaks, um, it, on, the strategy of, you know, our strategy for the Canadian meeting, I think it's going to yield, you know, more new people in the room. And I think mm -hmm. it's going to yield better business for everybody. So super mm -hmm. excited. And I love that you, that some of you are teaming up and you've got multiple people in the slot because there's no reason that hearing someone else's question, I mean, that someone else's question may be exactly what you're missing and you don't know how to ask it. So we can, talk through with those groups. I don't even know why that's coming. Up. We can talk through with those groups on how to, um, I mean, how to pair up for some things, you know, like I mm -hmm. love that yeah. all of team Canada does everything together. I love that you have dedicated nights to where you always know where you can invite somebody, your prospects in Canada are the luckiest because they're, they're never more than just a few days away from mm -hmm. being linked up with third party credibility, whether it's a Tuesday or whether it's a Thursday, your prospects are luckier than anyone in the U.S. because there's not another team that has the consistency of events and the quality of events that you guys have. Um, so I want to make sure that you guys are utilizing those, you know, appropriately um, and that we get more prospects in there. Because I think when they get around you guys, it's just it seals the deal, you know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Anybody else before Ashley goes off to her dinner? <laughs> Anything on your mind, anything that you're thinking, don't be afraid. Unmute yourselves. You only have Ashley until the seventh <laughs> or, or when you're doing your one-on-ones, one-on-one time with her. Okay. So that candidly, um, that link for to read, to schedule that time with her, um, she'll probably send an email. I'll forward it to you guys. I'll put it in the group chat as well. So you have that, uh, that time slot with her before she comes oh yes when two hands up yes i'm just wondering ashley when is the best time best day to uh try and do a one-on-one -on -one with you before you come up here oh any day that's open on that calendly so if you click that calendly link it'll show available times so you just match it to whenever you're available and um usually i mean i i keep those times blocked off on my calendar um my work calendar and when you grab a time it blocks it off on the calendar so if you go in there and there's nothing available that works for you just send me an email and i will work around especially for people that work full-time um, if you're working during the day it's going to be hard for you to get to some of those times because they're during the day so if you work full time and you can't meet with me any day, whether it's, you know, your lunch break or something like that, let me know and we like email me and then I will block off time after you get off work and um, we'll meet up easy peasy. And I'm so Eastern get, time zone too. So we're on the same time zone, most of us. So you'll get that link when you, you open up her calendar and a calendar opens up and it'll be like little slots that are open. The times are there, the dates are there, the days are there. You just click on it and put your name in then, and then the email will go to Ashley that you've booked that time with her. Okay. Yeah, to, I, the first time I ever used Calendly was with you, Ashley, too. I was a little afraid of it in the beginning too because I'd never used that before. So it's, uh, yeah. And if you guys need any help, Shelly is an expert. Oh my goodness, Shelly. I cannot believe I just said mm -hmm. that. I just said Shelly is an expert. And a text message popped up on the top of my phone as soon as I said that. 
that says Shelly Sheridan has booked an appointment. So if you need any help, my your resident expert is Shelly. And it was right on time. I mean, as soon as I said it, it popped up. So she is familiar with how to do it. Um, we try to meet up. So um, if you have any trouble, Shelly can totally guide you through. Yay. <laughs> That was perfect timing, Shelly. Aces. It was perfect. Tony, yeah. Do you have a question? Yeah, I, I have a question. Um, seeing that Saturday is like we have, um, you know, guests and stuff. Um, are we going to be doing the sampling at some point, like in the beginning of the start of the session, Nada? Is that what we're planning? Because like you have the elevate, you can give out, you can yeah. go with a little tray. I think we'll. I think we'll have. I think, I think we'll have. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll definitely do some sampling. I, yeah, I actually yeah. have the skincare set up, like make it like a little mini experience. Like how we usually used to do it, right? Remember? Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Yeah. We'll get together as teams and we'll have different teams manning the different tables. And yeah, I think we, I just don't know um, as far as PowerPoint, I don't know what they have. Like it, it's like a, an, I'll have to ask. Actually, I think we can just talk. We don't have to have slides, do we? Are you, no, we can just share, right? Okay. Because I'm not sure what kind of technology is there. I'll, I'll give uh, Elaine a call and see what's there. But we can make it simple. Yeah. And I absolutely like, you know, I'm not real slidey anyway, but I have, I'll have my computer with me. I'll have an HDMI cord. So if they have something and you want me to link up, um, I can have something ready, but we okay. absolutely don't have to. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. Anybody else before Ashley says good night to us? I can't wait for everybody to look like for the team to like look at my calendar and they'll be like oh my goodness Canada must be blowing up they're gonna be so excited <laughs> yeah so we had six go to the wisdom builder Ashley and and right. uh we rented a minivan and now it looks like I had I have to book a 12-seater maybe more so we're That's perfect. Yeah. yeah and you're in Alabama are you going to come to this one in the fall do you know who's coming oh in the fall? I'm from Alabama it is oh, uh that's I'm, right I'm from Alabama. So the one in the, is it in November? Yeah. Yeah. Usually I am the, I'm usually the one that comes in the spring, but they got an upgrade this year and they got Kendra. So usually I'm in the spring and wit is in the fall, but if right. they need me there in the fall, I'll be there as long as it's okay. not on a really good football Saturday, because <laughs> I am from, I am from Alabama and I don't play around with that. So I'll okay. look and see. I know. And where, where, you, where, you, where, do you, where do you live now? I always forget. In, in Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Oh, we drove mm -hmm. by. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. You guys would love it. I really would love for you guys to do what you do, like with the the um, the Wisdom Builder Retreat and stop in, like just build in an extra day if you can, stop in and get to tour our area. I know it may not be as exciting to Canadians, but this was this was the birthplace of America because I live in the historic triangle. So this is exactly where America started at Jamestown. Um, and I would love to show you the history of this area, just like you guys all tell me the beautiful Canadian history. So if you ever have a chance and you have an extra day, I would love for you to stop in um, and let me just, you know, show you around this beautiful area. It's wonderful. I love it. But we, we usually do take an extra day. We actually stopped at Drury Inn in Cincinnati. So how far of a drive is it to Virginia from Joni? We should maybe look at that since Winston. I don't know. Okay, do that for next spring when it's warmer. We'll look at that. Yeah, yeah we'll the spring when it's warmer, <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> but yeah, it is, the weather here is great, except for January and February. We've got a really mild, great weather. Okay, cool. Awesome. You just awesome. don't want to come then. Okay, well, thank y'all so much. Thank Let me know you. if you need anything. And thank I'll you, talk to you, you. Thanks, Ashley. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. So there she is. And uh, yeah, we're excited that she's coming in uh, in May and um, we're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> so we just have to decide exactly how we want that structure to to work on um, on the Friday. OK, because okay. I know you guys are I mean, I, I would love for you guys to meet with her one on one. I, I just get so much out of that. But to but be to have more time with her before. And then when you do get together one on one, you can really dive in more. Maybe she can help you do some text messaging, calling, uh, touching base with people and actually make it like a work session as opposed to finding out what you want and finding out who you are session, which is what it was going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how do you guys feel about uh, your story? Who's not happy with their story? 
or who's working on their story, their two minute story. You are Heather. Yeah. 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 Because I'm, I'm like, oh, um, I can actually put more emphasis on the business part. Um, that it is actually true for me that I was looking for something. Um, and when the right thing came along, it happened to address my, um, needs for better health as well. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you guys a question? My, uh, is my uh, speakers, are they uh, are they not clear or are they coming through okay when everybody's speaking? Oh, you're good. You're clear. You're, you're clear. Yeah. Yeah. Heather yeah. wasn't. I wasn't? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you were doing your story too, Shelly, it was a bit. Uh, it was choppy. choppy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your okay. speakers were choppy, Shelly. So I thought it was my computer. So that's why I wanted Okay. So maybe it's mine because I thought Heather wasn't. Maybe she wasn't either. Maybe it was mine. No, Heather no, you, was also. You're both choppy for me too. Oh, okay. Hmm. okay. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. All right. Tracy, you have your hand up. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah. Just a quick uh, when when sending when inviting someone, what uh, what's the first email that um, should I just like send the same email that you send for the meetings? Yeah, but you have to have the conversation first, though, right? You're not just sending an email invite without actually personally inviting. Or are you just sending like a mass email? Like what, what um, do you think? If I've if I've mentioned it to them that every Tuesday yeah. and Thursday there's meetings that you could jump on and you could hear yeah. about. I could so like I could I could do uh, what I was thinking was doing something for today, saying sorry for the short short notice. Yes. Uh, yes. But it's the Tuesday uh, meeting, and I thought about uh, inviting you, but nonetheless, if you can't make today, here's another invite for Thursday, and invite them for the Thursday one, and and yes. just forward the information that you send, and then I I put like in the subject line. Um, Neo Life uh, guest information, and then I put uh, where I met them. Yes, and, and, and now the two the Tuesday will be better for a guest. Thursday because we're focusing on CoQ10 depends on what they're looking for in the conversation and what you're inviting them to. Right. Um, okay. We got to be careful if they just come to the Thursday, and it's not a topic that, like for example, if it's arthritis talk and they have arthritis, then they'll probably want to come to the arthritis talk. Um, when you're inviting them to CoQ10, if you're telling them it's a, focused on energy, right? If that's what they're looking for, because we are going to be talking about CoQ10 and energy on Thursday. Okay. Um, well, and, actually, and one of the I spoke to two ladies, uh, two sisters, and one of them has a daughter who's uh, sucking back coffee like no tomorrow. And she okay. has, uh, she's recently been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And mm -hmm. her mom thinks that she has ADHD because she feels that she doesn't have enough energy. So she's sucking back coffee like crazy. And she's young, like she's in her 20s. So it's, you know, she's so the Tuesday, the Tuesday would be better. Energy. Yeah. So the Tuesday would be better because we're talking about elevate. We do. We talk about elevate on, on Tuesday. Today. Or Tracy. Yeah. Today. Sorry. Or schedule a one on one with just the three of us. I mean, if they can't make it, so don't be afraid. Don't wait for Tuesday, Thursday. If somebody wants information now and, and they don't want to wait, or let's say they can't make it tonight, we can do a quick Zoom tomorrow, right? Okay. Or or during the day, if they're available during the day. I think Not they work. Day. I think they, okay. they do okay. work. Um, so okay. on Tuesday, today today is... Um, yeah, at 8 o'clock. Is uh, our basic great for guests. Great for guests. And is that yeah. the same next Tuesday as well? Every Tuesday. It's Every Tuesday, eight o'clock. It's the same That's one right. for guests. That's Perfect. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll, have the, a, I'll have a, a template done for that. Excellent. And also someone just asked about Ashley's meeting that you're booking on Candley. What's the best time and how much time? It's up to you guys. I think 15 minutes isn't enough. At least 30, um, 60, if you really have a lot, if you really want to, and you can schedule 60. And if you're done in 40, 45, 30, right, you can cover a lot in 35, 40 minutes. So it really depends on how much time you want to spend with Ashley. Shelly, what do you find usually you, you do with her? Yeah, I just answered that one. Um, oh. I, do with, I do with 30 um, just because if you have something that you want to work on, then focus on that and then go work on it. Um, if you find after you see how helpful it is that you have two or three or, you know, different things that you want, then you would want the 60, but, mm -hmm. you know, see what, see how it works for you. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and because if people are getting on and, and, and you, 
you book the 60 and you have enough information for like just a a 30 or you know 30 or 40 well now somebody else can't book that time right yeah and i find 15 minutes is great if you just yeah. have a really simple question like sometimes yeah. i'll just want to touch base with her about something like a like an issue in canada and then she'll go, oh my Lord, thanks for telling me. Okay, blah, 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 blah. right? And then, and then we're yeah. done. Like 15 minutes is not enough time to really dive in if yeah. you want to have a deep conversation about something. Okay, who else? I, I think, Rachel, you had a one-on-one -on -one with, with uh, Ashley already a while back, right? Your first one? Yeah, yeah. I, and I can't remember whether we did, well, it was me, you, and her. And I can't remember if we did 30 or 60 minutes. So that's kind of why I was asking, but. Yeah, I think I'll I'll start with thirty and then go from yeah, there. Yeah, thirty is a good a good amount. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the other thing when you book it, it says for an hour for a team. Like, yeah, yeah you needed the hour because it was both you and Nada, and therefore because mm -hmm. there's more people talking, so you need a little bit more time. So, mm -hmm. that's right. I forgot about that. Just say team or yeah. yeah. Thanks, Shelby. Awesome. Anybody? So I would highly those of you that jumped on late on this call. I'll send the recording out tonight. Please listen to the beginning because I think we we covered the two minute story. Shelly did a great example and I did an example and I, we had a conversation around that and the challenge we're putting out to everybody. Okay, so I want you to, to share as many times, like to, your goal is to connect with people, talk with people, you know, when you're out and about and try to find a way to share your two minute story when you're connecting with people out there. And if you need help, in creating your two minute story, please reach out to your upline, uh, sideline or somebody that you're working with that that knows you really well. Um, Cause like I said, we had a lot of fun with Shelly. We were driving for eight hours a day, coming back from Alabama and she shared her story and we're like, mm, no, not enough heart, <laughs> not enough heart. There was just like a cold kind of, I'm like, no, there's, there's something missing. And then she write it again. It was an like, essay paragraph. <laughs> it was like a teacher writing an essay, yes. <laughs> Grammatically correct, <laughs> not not the way that you would talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was good. To, it was good for her to do it aloud, though, with all of us in the van, and we're like, and then when she finally got it, I was starting to cry because it was so good. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really well done. So, okay. So, anyways, I thank you all for joining us tonight. And uh, so, if anybody has any guests coming on uh, in about ten minutes uh, on our our health talk, and uh, Neoli, did I send you the link for the eight o'clock? I think I the the presentation tonight for guests. Did I not send that one to you? I thought I did. You sent okay. it in an you sent it in an email. No, 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 not, no. To to our uh, to, to Neoli is is new. Um, I sent oh. her the training. I thought I sent you the link for the eight o'clock for guests tonight. It's our, our basic health talk that we do. I'll send that to you. As soon as we get off the call, I will send you that email and you can just see what kind of presentation we do um, every Tuesday for guests to come and take a look. And Rachel, are you able to join join tonight and, and share your piece? Awesome. Yep. And Rachel will be joining, joining us as well. And Tracy, you're going to invite somebody, right? <laughs> Or try. You never know. You never know. I've done last minute invites like, hey, can you hop on in 10 minutes? <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> all right. I will stop the recording. And again, thank you all for joining us tonight. And it was great to see you guys. And I just want to see where the recording. Here we go.